everybody, my name is Ryan Peterson, your current Mr. ULM, and today I have a wonderful opportunity to sit and talk with ULM's newest Director of Athletic Bands, Dr. Alan Parrish. How are you doing today? Doing great. I'm great. Excited about the weekend. Awesome. So I just want to sit and talk uh, through some things with you, ask you some questions. That way we can all get to know you a little bit better. Uh, so first off, we'll start off, you know, just tell us a little bit about your background, where you came from. So I moved here from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, but I grew up in Panama City, Florida. Um, I have a degree from Troy University, who we're playing in football tomorrow. Um, go Warhawks. Um, I have a master's from Pittsburgh State University up in Kansas and a doctorate from the University of Southern Mississippi. So I have a wife, we've been married for a few years, and I have a little 11 month old girl. Okay, wonderful. Um, so, you know, you're, you just came here, this is your first uh, season with us. I just want to you know, if you have a moment to share with us your vision for this program, either short term or long term. So the short version of that would be that I want to impact students. Um, during COVID, I was really into playing my tuba and just sitting in a room and just practicing for hours. And I just thought this isn't what I want to do. I want to impact students. I want to teach them how to be better leaders. Uh, and I really enjoy making music, but I more so enjoy um, teaching the students, the personal interactions. So I want the band program here at ULM to facilitate those kind of interactions. Um, I want to develop students as leaders to teach them that they can do more um, than they think that they can. So um, teaching them how to be disciplined, how to work hard. Um, I also want to have a really good band with a lot of people in it. So I, I'd like to double the band in size to, to 240 in the next four or five years. Okay. Great, we've already seen some uh, opportunities where you've built leadership. We have the new leadership team um, going on and I can see how you're giving more responsibilities and duties to the section leaders. And we have our very new band president, Nick Mayo. And so it's very exciting to see these new changes that you're bringing in and it's doing exactly that. It's building those leadership skills and it's um, helping us handle more responsibilities. Uh, so I think that's very exciting. Um, so the next thing I wanna move into I uh, just want to get, know how the season is going for you so far. Is campus and the band program really met your expectations? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I admittedly have been pushing the students a little more than they're used to, as I'm sure you can, mm. you can attest. Uh, we're learning shows faster than we've ever learned, but um, from feedback I've gotten, the band has sounded as good as it has in any year pri years prior. So I'm very proud of how the students have been working. The season has been busy uh, with, I think, six home football games, an away trip, and uh, an exhibition performance. So it, it's it's refreshing to know that future seasons won't be as busy as this one, um, but it's been, it's been good even though it's been busy. I feel like I'm working towards, um, I'm working in ways that are productive and helpful rather than just driving myself into the, to the dirt for nothing. Mm -hmm. So the season's been going great and I'm excited to see how the rest of it unfolds. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's kind of refreshing to see a new challenge, and you mentioned you're pushing us harder, and that's exactly what's, what's going on, but you know, that's, you know, that's what we need, that's how we get, get better, you push yourself and you find some new limits. Mm -hmm. And so I'm glad for the new, new challenge. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about the game coming up tomorrow. I hear that we have some guests playing with us, so you mind telling us a little bit about who's coming to play? Yeah, so um, we have a high school um, in the Bossier City area. Um, Benton High School is going to be bringing up 25 to 30 students to play with us. Um, Sterlington High School is going to send some students to play with us. Uh, Washita Parish, West Washita, uh, most of, uh, a lot of the local schools are going to be sending students to come and enjoy game day with us. Um, as I mentioned previously, I went to Troy University and um, there's actually a tuba fraternity at Troy uh, called Rota Sigma. And so some of the Rota Sigma brothers from Troy are going to come hang out with us this weekend. Uh, they won't be playing with us in the stands because they said it might feel awkward cheering for the other team. But they're going to be around at rehearsal and uh, when we tailgate. And it's going to be a real cool showing of camaraderie and just um, friendship through music and band. I'm really, really excited to meet all the new people tomorrow. Um, so that kind of leads into the next topic of discussion. Do you have any recruiting plans in place with maybe local high schools or even even further? Yeah, I think obviously it's easier to get into the local schools than it is to travel three or four hours away. 
So um, my, my primary goal is to create strong relationships with the local schools and local band directors um, and see them often. So for example, um, there's a football game next week um, at the high school level. Um, and I'm going to make every effort I can to go and visit both schools that are going to be playing in that high school game. And then I'll, I'll plan on attending the game and just kind of seeing how their show's going, helping them out wherever I can. Um, so that's one thing that I'm doing. Um, obviously having all these high schoolers play with us is another recruitment tool for them to kind of get a taste of college game day and see how different colleges, uh, college band is from high school band. Um, I'm also traveling. Um, I have a three hour radius on my wall. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, but uh, so I circled three hours around Monroe travel time. And so I'm focusing on that area. I've traveled to um, Little Rock, Arkansas and visited a high school there where no one had ever heard of the University of Louisiana Monroe. Um, and so I think close, local, um, strong relationships is, is the go-to but on a broader scale, getting those people to even consider ULM as an option is my goal. Um, because we have a lot of strong things at this university that it's gonna bring in students from even three or four hours away. Awesome, I'm excited to see a more active role in the local community, getting plugged in at those high schools and hopefully bringing some new people in. Um, and so I wanna shift gears a little bit and talk about the Parkway exhibition coming up. Uh, maybe you can tell us when that is I heard that we're adding something a little extra in there at the show. Trying to. So Park, the Parkway exhibition is going to be next Saturday at Parkway High School at their stadium. Um, and so we'll leave here around 3 o'clock, 3.30, eat some food, and then we perform at 7.30. And I think there's nine high schools that will be performing in competition, um, eight in competition, one is exhibition. But uh, we'll be performing for all of those high school students. And so that's a way for them to see what we're doing here at ULM and hopefully um, have them consider joining our, our band program and coming to our university. And so my, my, my idea, um, I was actually joking with our band camp clinician. He was saying when he was in high school, he went to an exhibition and saw a band with smudge pots, is what he said. And that was fire coming at the back of the field. And so fire ex excites high school students. Yeah. And so I've been trying to contract a pyrotechnician to have cold spark generators along our backfield so there's flames shooting up at the end of our show. So um, I'm working on contracting the guy and getting everything logistically set for that. So hopefully um, there'll be a nice little spark to our halftime show. Yeah, I'm hoping everything works out because that sounds you know something very very fun to watch and something I don't know if I've even seen really in person from a marching mm -hmm. show standpoint so hopefully it won't distract too many people yeah well, what are the, what's going on <laughs> over there <laughs> we'll get pictures yeah um so speaking of shows uh would you like to share with us a little bit about our second show coming up a little later this season yes so hopefully on October 9th we'll have it ready but um, so the first show is rock through the ages and it's rock and it's really in your face. The second show we're looking to have more of a party with Latin pop. So we're gonna do uh, Fonzie's Despacito, uh, Camila Cabello's Havana and Shakira's Hips Don't Lie. Okay. And so it's gonna be a lot more laid back, um, party groove. We might even crowd around the student section and do a tag, um, but we're just gonna have fun with this show. Uh, and it's going to be a lot less intense than this first one has yeah. been. So, um, yeah, there won't be, it'll be about half the number of sets, but just as much fun. Okay. I'm real excited because I'm a bit of a fan of Shakira. I like the, <laughs> just don't lie. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for sitting down uh, with me and talking. Uh, before we head out, is there any closing statements or last remarks you want to tell the people that might be watching? No, I'm, I mean, I, I think that, um, as I told the students, this is just the beginning of the sound of today, um, the, the, the new edition of the sound of today. Um, we've, the tradition has been amazing in, in past years. The band has sounded good, the band's looked good, but I really want to move in a direction that's exciting um, and, and really make students proud of being a part of this band program. So thank you for your time and thank you for listening. All right, thank you all.
Uh, hope to see you later on this season at our games and out maybe even at Parkway Exhibition and just come support the band program. Everyone have a good day and go Hawks.